Good morning and welcome back to Miss Stephanie's Storytime. Today, we're gonna read a book about a little T-Rex named Penelope. Our story is We Don't Eat Our Classmates, written and illustrated by Ryan T. Higgins. What do you think the book might be about with the title, We Don't Eat Our Classmates? Let's take a second to make a prediction. A prediction is when we make a guess about what is going to happen. So what do you think is gonna happen in this story? Let's think about it for a second. Now that you have your prediction, let's listen to our story. We Don't Eat Our Classmates by Ryan T. Higgins. Hey kids, you will never be it eaten by a T-Rex. They are extinct. I promise. Penelope Rex was nervous. It's not every day that a little T-Rex starts school. What are my classmates going to be like? Will they be nice? How many teeth will they have? This was very important. Penelope's mom bought her a new backpack with ponies on it. Ponies were Penelope's favorite because ponies are delicious. Penelope's dad packed her a lunch of 300 tuna sandwiches and one apple juice. Do you think you could eat 300 sandwiches? Finally, the big day came. And Penelope Rex was surprised to find out that all of her classmates were... Who do you think her classmates are going to be? <gasps> Children? So... She ate them because children are delicious. Do you think the teacher's happy? What do you think the teacher's gonna tell Penelope to do? Penelope Rex, said Mrs. Noodleman. We don't eat our classmates. Please spit them out at once. So she did. It was not the best way to start school. Still, Penelope was determined to have a great first day. She tried hard to make friends at recess. She finger painted some of her best work. She even saved Griff and Emery a seat at lunch. You can sit here. Penelope started to notice Everyone was making friends, but her. It was lonely. How do you think Penelope feels right now? When she got home, her dad asked about her first day of school. I didn't make any friends, Penelope cried. None of the children wanted to play with me. Penelope Rex, her father asked, did you eat your classmates? Well, maybe, sort of, just a little bit. Sometimes it's hard to make friends, said her dad especially if you eat them. You see, Penelope, children are the same as us on the inside, just tastier. That gave Penelope a lot to think about.
The next day, Penelope tried really hard. But poor Penelope, she could not stop herself from eating her classmates. Mrs. Noodleman, Penelope ain't William Amoto again. And they were all afraid of her. Except Walter. Walter was a goldfish. So Penelope tried to make friends with him. Will you be my friend? What do you think is going to happen here? Chop! Oh. Did the goldfish try to eat Penelope? Eee! cried Penelope. He's eating my finger! Once Penelope found out what it was like to be someone's snack, she lost appetite for children. What do you think is going to happen next? She stopped eating her classmates, even when Cece Woodman spilled barbecue sauce all over herself. And soon, Penelope made friends found you. Want a brownie? I helped make them. Now, even when children look especially delicious, she peeks at Walter and remembers what it's like when someone tries to eat you. And Walter the goldfish Stares right back at her and licks his lips. Because dinosaurs are delicious. The end. Have a great day.